to a Brown County court case that will not go to trial as scheduled this week. A Brown County woman charged in a hidden camera case not going to face a jury of her peers this week. 38 year old, 38 year old, excuse me, Samantha Troublecox criminal trial has now been removed from the court schedule and replaced with a motion hearing. Now her trial has been, as we mentioned, replaced. She's charged with several felonies for enticing a teenage victim to her then boyfriend's home in the town of Lawrence, where that underage victim was secretly recorded while undressing back in October of 2021. Brittany Schmidt joins us now as she's been looking into this, was in court today. So let's yep. just start right there. What happened that, that got this moved off the docket? Right, so she's out on a $20,000 cash bond. She walked into court today with her attorney. She was there for pre, the final pretrial because her trial was supposed to start on Wednesday of this week. Well, it turns out that her defense attorney filed two motions just last week. So maybe, what, three working days because of the long holiday. One of the documents is 133 pages long. Um, I viewed it in court today in the documents. Mm -hmm. That one kind of basically lays out, the defense alleges that there were nine significant constitutional issues regarding two search warrants in this case that were carried out, specifically one with a, a cell phone and, and gathering data from that. So that's what the second motion is about. They're trying to suppress evidence that was extracted from the phones um, that the defense says they never got the entirety of the of the evidence given to them. Isn't that normal though in, in cases of uh, prosecution is required right. to kind of turn over the evidence so what happened here yeah and each of them do that right the defense right. prosecution they share it because that's what they're going to be arguing in trial but in this case the 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 state argues that because some of the evidence created had contraband in it so i.e those explicit photos sure. they said that they can't send someone that stuff because of the contraband but they have to make it available to the defense to come view it at any time they want to that was the possibility since 2021 when she was first arrested. The defense attorney could come look at the stuff. But the defense, our defense attorney now argues that the stuff in the documents that he's waiting for, that he wants to see from the cell phone that was extracted, he argues it's not contraband because of what happened in a federal case involving her co-defendant, her then boyfriend back in 2021, Michael Cannell. Okay, and what his current status is what? And so, how does that bear on what we saw today? Right, so he And that's is, him there, that's the, the yep, file video we, from before. Correct, and that was just a few weeks ago. We were there as he walked into the federal courthouse for his sentencing um, for an amended charge of possession of child pornography. So because of his case, so he was originally charged with four counts. He amended down to a possession of child pornography and then it, he got a plea deal. And this was one of the reasons that he got a plea deal. We, we went through the court documents and it shows that in federal documents revealed there was some concern over recent appellate court hearings and rulings that looked at these photos like the ones Connell mm -hmm. took of this victim. And From that hidden camera. Right. And whether those recordings of the victim in this case constituted sexually explicit conduct. So did it meet the definition of child pornography? In that was the argument in the federal case. That is part of the plea deal where he got five years. And now her defense attorney is saying, well, if they weren't child pornography in the federal case, why are they now in the state case? And that'll have to be played out. Okay, so as that plays out, what does this all do to the timeline here? So it pushes it quite way a, back. Right? Yeah, quite a few months. I was shocked that they said April of 2024 is when they'll have a motion hearing for these two motion hearings that were filed last week. The defense plans to file more motions. The judge made it very clear that he wants any and all motions to be filed by April of 2024 so that they can continue moving forward. All right. Interesting uh, dynamic there between mm -hmm. the federal and the local case here. Brittany, thanks so much more on this coming up at five o'clock.